Do you know that you can create your own desktop applications using the Tinter library in the Python programming language? Even if you have no idea about developing desktop applications, you can develop your own applications by watching this video series. So let's start. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. Let's learn how to create a desktop window first. We will use the Tkinter library to develop desktop applications. Transfer the Tkinter library to the project file. Create a variable and synchronize the TK function from the Tkinter library. We have created our desktop window. It's that simple. Now let's give our desktop application a name. I want to give the name of my YouTube channel. In order for the window to stop without closing on the screen we need to use the main loop function. Run the code. As you can see, we have created an empty desktop window called Turtle Code. This is our first desktop window. Now let's add a login message to our desktop application. We can use the label function for the input message. Create a variable and synchronize it with the label function. We can create the input message by sending some parameters to the label function. As the first parameter, let's specify in which desktop window the login message will appear. We created a desktop window called window. Send the window parameter as the first parameter. Send any input message as the second parameter. I sent the text hello as the second parameter. We can use the grid function for label position settings. Send the column and row parameters specifying the position of the input message to the grid function. In the first example you can set positions to zero. Run the code. We created a login message as hello when the application runs. But the input message is really small. We can change all properties of the input message in the label function. We will use the font parameter in the label function to change its properties. We will send two arguments to the font parameter. The first parameter determines the font of the input message. Set Arial Bold as the font. The second parameter is the size of the input message text. Send 50 as the second parameter. Run the code. We change the size and type of the input message text with the font function. When the app is first opened, its size is very small. We can change the app opening size using the geometry function. We send two parameters to the geometry function that specify the length and width of the application window. Now let's create a button. Create a variable. We will use the button function. We will send two parameters to the button function. The first parameter specifies which window the button will be in. As the first parameter, send the window parameter which is the opening window of our application. We will send the text parameter as the second parameter. We can use any string expression in the text parameter. We use the grid function to determine the button position. Send the column and row parameters specifying the position of the button to the grid function. We have set the zero position for label. We want the button to be just to the right of the label text. Therefore, we send parameter 1 as the first parameter to the button's grid function. Run the code. We created a button just to the right of the label text. We can set the color of the button and the text. Synchronize the BG and FG parameters for the button and text color with the two colors and send them to the button function. Run the code. We change the color of the button and text by sending the BG and FG parameters. Create a function to assign a task to the button. In this function, we can code which actions will be performed when the button is clicked. For example, replace the text label with text that indicates the button was clicked. We need to synchronize the created function with the button. Synchronize and send the command parameter to the button function with its name. Run the code. When the button is clicked, we replaced the text indicating that the button was clicked with the text label. 
Let's create a text tag for the user to input some text. We can use the entry function. To change the size of the entry function, specify and send the width parameter to the entry function. We use the grid function to determine the position of the text tag. Submit two parameters to specify the position of the text tag. Change the position of the button with two. Currently the label position is zero, the text position is one and the button position is two. Run the code. We can enter string from the user in the text tag. Now let's do a different example. Let's write the name in the text tag and broadcast a welcome message when the button is pressed. We can use the clicked function to assign a task to the button. Let's create a variable and sync the welcome message. We can access the text text using the get function. Synchronize the res variable created as the text argument to the configure function. Run the code. We ask the user to enter a name first. When the user clicks the button, the welcome message is printed on the label. In some cases we would like to disable the button. In this case, we use the state parameter in the button function. Synchronize the state parameter with the disabled argument. We disable the button using the disabled argument. In this video, we learned the basics of creating a desktop application using the Tkinter library in the Python programming language. We will continue to learn the basics of creating a desktop app in the other videos of the playlist. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.